Hello everyone, it's Sicker Mechanic Mechanico here at bestgameever.co.uk uh, and I'm just going to give you uh, guys another map showcase of uh, Doubles competitive map I've been working on called Cavern. Um, as you've seen by the uh, previous fly through, it's a very small map. Uh, I have been a big fan of Double Team, just 2v2 in Halo, probably since Halo 3 was the time I really got latched on. I used to work night shifts and it used to be, a friend of mine also did the same, and to sort of stay up in preparation for the night shift the next day, uh, we, we played doubles for hours and hours and hours. Um, so I'm going to take you on a, on a little walkthrough just to show you what this map's all about. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So starting off here, this is uh, Red Spawn. Um, initially when I put the map together I had these archways and columns and everything um, they were coloured red um, but it felt like it was just too garish and, and just looked wrong um, so I've just given little subtle hints at it being red base just with little lights here and there um, I felt it just performed better and it fit with the aesthetic of the map um, coming through into the top level here um, we call, I like to call the galaxy lift um, with these wonderful barrier pieces which I really like because of the motif that they once you've forged them and merged them in with another object so you get this little cool kind of architectural thing um, so yeah we've got this uh, top lift here this lift kind of riffs off of um, lifts from previous Halo games like Epitaph or Construct um, kind of like gold lift um, except obviously on this one you can drop back down you're not just immediately forced up you can certainly drop between the levels. Um, moving along over here, we've got blue base. Um, again, just little subtle lighting to show that it's blue. Um, the map's small enough, you, you find it very difficult to get lost, to be honest with you. Um, power weapon wise, there's very, very little that spawns on the map. We've got a BR in each base, effectively. Um, two plasmas in the center there, and a single light rifle. Below me, uh, in top mid, as I like to call it, we've got the overshield. Uh, overshield. We've got the um, damage boost. I did try an overshield, played around with active camo as well, but I found that, especially for doubles, it was just too powerful. You really, you know, you couldn't lose if you could control that. Some would argue that the whole objective of the game is to control the weapon spawns, etc., to win, but it just felt like too much of an advantage. So, the damage boost is a nice little something to fight over. To give a slight advantage to the winning team of that little battle. Uh, we've also got a plasma pistol here. Um, originally that was sort of put there to sort of take over and, and combat the overshield but uh, I like the plasma pistol. It's a kind of cool gun for making quick choices to try and drop shields as opposed to just constant precision shots. Um, got a scatter shot here on a two minute respawn with just five, five bullets in it so it's not too powerful. Uh, and we've got two splinter grenades. Um, because of the small avenues on this map, it makes for a really good way to uh, sort of block routes um, for defensive and offensive purposes. On each uh, side, we've got red lift and blue lift. Um, really, really easy call outs for this. Um, this was done just merging some ring pieces and then using invisible blockers to make sure that you didn't get stuck so that it's a nice smooth staircase. And if we bounce up here, We'll come back up to the top level. Um, the glass floor, um, originally when I put it in, it was just long pieces of glass with no, no break. Um, but a lot of players said, you know, I, it feels, because it's so glassy, it feels like you should be able to drop down. So I've just added these extra um, pieces of, of stone. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. Um, just to show that it's it's a floor. Don't, don't expect to fall through. Um, as you can see, the, the architecture has been encapsulated in this sort of ice cavern hence the name um, and it I think it, it really completes the look well we've got this very ice blue for the metallic sort of columns and archways and decorative pieces um, but you can still see the sky and we've got some cool lighting unfortunately because I used a lot of ring pieces on this map I do pray victim to the lighting bug if you don't know about that, um, there is a bug with these pieces. I'm hoping by the next Forge update that it will be corrected. Um, but it means occasionally some pieces turn black. 
um, just of their own accord. So I've had to use a lot of uh, light sources inside the cavern uh, just to light it correctly. Um, and then we come to outside. Um, outside we've got this beautiful vista. Um, we've got the plasma caster spawn here. This is the single sort of uh, power weapon on the map, really. Um, and we've got a grav lift that will take us back up to this. I've had so much budget to spare um, because the performance, I'm still in the green on everything at the moment. Um, so we've got a little campfire in the distance and some trees just on the, on the sight line here. Um, thankfully, I've also only had to, to block off sort of this section of the map with kill zones because the rest of the map you won't be able to get out. Um, so man cannoning up here. Um, we've got the single light rifle spawn. And obviously you can do these jumps to, to get into either base. I think you can do this one. In fact, I'm going to test it out. Um, you should be able to... Yep, yeah, you can. So there's a lot of traversal options. There's a lot of visual cues as to where players are, sounds, grav lifts. Um, and obviously being able to see through the glass, it's very little opportunity to camp in this map. And there's no real sort of uh, power position as such. Um, even outside with two players, if you're below, they can come from above. If you're above, they can come from below. So um, I'm hoping that it's going to lead to some really, really good games. Um, yeah, so this is Cavern. You can grab this from my file share. Um, it will be in my bookmarks. Gamer tag is Sick and Mechanico. Um, it's a bitch to spell, so uh, it'll be in the description below on the YouTube video. But I really, really hope you uh, enjoyed this very, very quick look at the latest Forge creation of mine. And uh, yeah, give us a shout if you've got any feedback, um, any advice, criticism, good or bad, I can take it. Um, you know, I'd just like to thank you very much for, for watching the vids. See you around.